Oh, tell me why. The dinosaurs die. Are they way up there in that jungle in the sky? The New Jersey State Museum is celebrating the 350th with a visit from the official state dinosaur Hattie and paleo artist Jason Poole. How I wish that we we could really know. My job is to to flesh out or illustrate what uh, Hadrosaurus fulci, the skeleton behind me. Uh, would look like with skin and, and uh, fatty tissues and muscles and so basically make it look like it would have when it was alive. While seven U.S. states have official dinosaurs, New Jersey's Hadrosaurus fulci is probably the most important. It was the world's first relatively complete dinosaur skeleton ever found. It was first found um, in 1838 in Haddonfield, New Jersey. It was more excavated in about 20 years later by Joseph Leidy and William Falk and a few others. So this bone is a toe. These are uh, vertebrae, so parts of the backbone. You can see the neural canal right there where the spinal cord would go through. They went to the center of intellectual America, uh, Philadelphia. Uh, they were taken there and uh, studied Joseph Leidy, one of the greatest paleontologists of all time. Uh, he himself studied it. America's first dinosaur, and really the first one in the world that you could really mount and study. It's probably around 70, 70 million years old. Haddonfield at the time was actually underwater. The shoreline was farther north and west of there. Um, because it was so hot and because there was no ice at the poles, sea levels were much, much higher, maybe 300 feet higher. Hattie, as we like to call it, became the official state dinosaur in 1991, and that was all thanks to an elementary school teacher, I believe in Haddonfield, who led her students in a letter writing campaign to the state legislature trying to get this dinosaur as the official state dinosaur of New Jersey. Incidentally, uh, Hattie doesn't signify Haddonfield. Uh, Hattie signifies uh, bulky, so it was uh, literally Hadrosaurus, folks bulky lizard. And uh, it's commonly mistaken that it was named for Haddonfield, but it wasn't. Nevertheless, Haddonfield is very proud of its dinosaur. The location of the original excavation is now a National Historic Site. And a few years ago, Haddonfield commissioned a sculpture of Hattie for their downtown by artist John Giannotti. Art is a really, really cool way of, of making something matter to somebody. But you see the bones and they're really cool, but when you see, you see a drawing of a, of a dinosaur in its habitat, it starts to make much more sense. Are they